I feel like when this training arc is done, we're about to be like fucking S tier team. Like we're just gonna be shitting on people. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Q Season 4, Episode 8. This one's called Challenger. Now, actually, I have no idea what that means. I don't think it would be. I would assume, like, if the last couple episodes were called that, like, Dr. Kogia would be the challengers. But I have no idea with this episode, I'm assuming, being the last episode of this practice match as to where we're going and how we're going to transition into the nationals. I have no idea. I am so excited, though. So I say we not waste any more time. Jump right on into it. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, like Black Clover, Jujutsu Kaisen, many, many more to come. We are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Patreon. Links are always in the description for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment down below, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Darius. Let's hop right on into this. Uh, Haikyuu, Season 4, Episode 8, Challenger. Let's do it. Get lost in the crowd, huh? Ooh, is this the synchronized synchronized attack? Nice. That's us. Oh, that's that's the set. Good shit. We definitely did get lost in the crowd. Oh wow, a seal walk. That probably is super tiring. Oh lord. I see, so that one was just involving him. I remember that. <laughs> Love at first sight. Bro. They gotta put you in with everyone, leave you as a possibility. Oh yeah. Evolving is definitely needed. Keep moving forward, keep going, keep going up. <laughs> it's not getting caught, I love that. Bro, keep adjusting, I like it. We'll keep evolving, at a, adapting at a rate that's too fast for you guys. Yep, they would just expect that every time. Oh my god. I love when they do that in the show, make them look like they're going fucking Super Saiyan. Nice, good shit, Daichi. Oh, Jesus. You get, you get so used to the minus tempo, then they switch it up, and then they go right back to it, you're just not expecting it. It's mind games at that point. Right? I'm just switching it up. Be able to gather all that and process it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Minus? A quick? A quick? B quick? Where's he coming from? What move will he make? Back row C attack? Oh yeah, they're showing us all the things that we have, all the weapons we have at our disposal to make us national level team. We're gonna be in nationals, guys. <laughs> Suddenly bears its fangs. And it, was that even a crow sound I think it made? Ah, is that what he meant? <laughs> Damn, that man is a fucking maniac. Old man Ukai. Yeah, fucking exhausted. Understandable. Hinata literally has unlimited stamina. One of the roles, one of the jobs is a setter. Ooh, he went for a straight, but it was out. 
でも今はすげえいいストレートでしたよ Replaying、uh, Legend of Zelda. Damn, 8 sets? Kinoshida was the one who had a slightly better jump floater than、uh, Yamaguchi. But now he's about to put it to the test. Nice, that was good. It happens. <laughs> Hi. Ooh, that was a great quick. Oh my god, this man Aone. Oh yeah, he is. Synchro attack, baby. Is it a first tempo into a minus tempo? Just to get himself marked by Kogunegawa? And then it's to go to Aussie for a back attack? Yep, leave him wide open. Hell yeah. Good job. That's our decoy right there. That's the decoy right there. Okay, relax there, Kageyama. Hell yeah. That's good. That's good. And he's gonna go for it again. That's what the ace does. Get in there. He's gonna break through that wall. Come on. Oh yeah. Come on. The man bun maniac. One touch! That's us. Let's go. That's my man bun maniac right there. That was some great practice right there. Wow, he's that technical. Oh, wow, great hygiene. <laughs> I love the admiration. But I also love the details that go into volleyball training, you know, stuff you wouldn't normally do or think about. <laughs> third year to third year. I always love seeing these two ever since their first match. The respect they have for each other is always, always awesome. Is spe <laughs> He's specifically talking to Hananda. <laughs> Went over, that's what floaters will do to you. Damn, every time he misses. Well, Alright, l right, Rock Lee. If I could not do 10 push ups, I would do 100 crunches. Self awareness and self critique are so good, you know. Oh, yeah. I love how much drive these guys have to get better, you know. Means he got potential, and he's a great. He's one of the legends. Come on. Come on, Kinoshita. Yamaguchi's watching too. Getting a little inspiration. Hell yeah, I'm telling you, the motivation. Coach Grandpa Ukai, that's so funny. 
Yeah, you've been doing that for years. Okay, receiving drills. Look at... Mm -mm. Look at Natsu, a little dragon, a little dragon fire breath. It seems like an actual good solo drill. I wonder if people do this in real life. <laughs> nice save. You know, I think I tell you guys this all the time, but ever since I started watching Haikyuu, I see Instagram volleyball videos all the time. And the Instagram algorithm works a lot like the YouTube algorithm. Once you watch something or save it or share it, then it'll start recommending you a lot others similar to that. So I get volleyball videos all the time now and I absolutely love it. But actually it wasn't this specific training, which it looks like this would be more for receiving, but I did see a couple of videos on like setter training. And this guy was like, this guy reminds me so much of Kageyama, but he was doing something similar to this where he was like setting off a wall, but he was moving, like laying down, sitting down, standing up. He was doing all this stuff while just setting like within this close of a wall, you know, like within it was like these guys, the technical skill they have is just insane. It literally blows me away. I would be like not to, you know, I'd be like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Now the ball's like our best bud. Exactly. Look at little sis. Damn, that ball's had some wear and tear. Man, where are we go? What's next? Are we going to nationals? More practice? I want to know. Like I said, fantastic episode. I just want to know exactly where we're going. Like, are we going to do a little more training? Are we going exactly into nationals? How long until nationals? I'm sure they said it at one point. Like we have like a month or two, but I don't know, like the pacing in the show could be sometimes super crazy. Sometimes they can have one set in a volleyball match be 10 episodes. You never know. Uh, but I am thoroughly excited, especially with how we've evolved mentally, physically, especially with Kageyama and Hinata. Kageyama's like in terms of my mindsets when it comes to his, his teammates and how he needs to analyze their condition a little bit more. He's really like the centralized hub. Like I love how I, I originally got that introduced from Nekoma, like how the setter is the brain and you guys are really like the parts, you know, you keep the blood flowing, keep everything going as a cohesive unit. But I'm like seeing that, like I learned that from Nekoma, but I'm seeing it evolve into that from Karasuno and I love that. He really is like the brain and to where he evolved into learning how to better read his limbs and what's going on with that is awesome. But Hinata being more analytical is awesome as well. We're just overall getting there. We're turning into a national level team and I am so excited, so ready. I just wanna know what's gonna happen. I just wanna know the, the, the tournament brackets and who we go against and what who we're seeing and this, that, and the other and all the jazz, you know, I'm so excited. I wanna see, I don't think Date Kogia was going because they lost to Alba Josai, who lost to us, who then we beat, yeah. So I don't think they're going to be at Nationals. We're going to see Nekoma, though. We're going to see Itachiyama. We're going to see some other teams. So I am excited. We're, you know, like... I'm not... I, I don't know, guys. I don't know what to say. I'm just excited to watch this show. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. I will see you in this next episode. I appreciate y'all oh so much. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.